welcome to informatica support videos my name is vikas and i'm here to talk about how to deploy configuration remotely in idr the agenda is to understand the ways of migration types of deployments and the demonstration of remote migration by using full deploy in idr we can migrate the configs in two ways local migration and remote migration local migration we can deploy a replication configuration locally under same server manager this feature enables to quickly generate multiple configuration files based on an existing one for the main server remote migration we can deploy a replication configuration from one server manager to another server manager to make it available in another replication environment a common scenario in the case of remote deployment is to deploy a configuration from test environment to production environment idr has two types of deployment full deploy and partial deploy full deploy if the configuration is getting deployed for the first time from a test environment to a production environment then use full deploy option while performing full deployment no need to stop the replication tasks in the test and production environments partial deploy this method will be used when we update the configuration in the test environment and need to deploy only the changes to the production environment while performing partial deployment stop all the replication tasks that uses the configuration deploy the configuration changes and then start the replication task again now we will see a demonstration of remote deployment connect to the main server from which you are deploying the configuration or configuration changes on the server manager tab under configs view select the configuration that you want to deploy and click deploy on the toolbar or right click on the config and select deploy in the deployment dialog box select remote click okay select full deployment the remote deployment dialog box appears specify the host name or ip address the port number and the login information for the remote main server to which you are deploying the configuration or configuration changes if you use ssl for connecting to the remote main server select the use ssl option then click connect in the new configuration name field enter a name for the configuration to use on the remote main server note configuration names are case sensitive if the source or the target schema names in the test and the production environment are differ select the replicate re replace schema name pairs on deployment option this option is available only if you select the full deploy deployment type in the list box select the check box for each row with the current and the new database connections and server manager main servers that are involved in the deployment the current connection and the server manager values pertain to the test environment and the new connection 
and the server manager values pertain to the production environment. For a configuration with a single target, select none in the new database connection column to use the connection from the source configuration. For a configuration with multiple targets, you must specify a database connection value for each of the targets. Use source and the target connections that include the host name or IP address. Data replication cannot deploy a configuration with a connection that uses local host as the host name or uses the default IP address that is 127.0.0.1. Click deploy to deploy the configuration or configuration changes. If you previously selected the replace schema name pairs on deploy option, define schema replacement pairs for the source and the target in the schema replacements for configuration. Click the new button on the toolbar. Select the database connection with source. In the original schema list, select a schema that is used in the test environment. In the new schema list, select the corresponding schema to use in the production environment. Click save. Repeat steps are through to define the additional schema replacement pairs. Click on save. Then save. If you define the schema replacement pairs or specify new database connection values, the data replication console prompts you to create a recovery table on the target. If necessary, change the schema or the owner name and edit the recovery table name. Then click OK to generate the recovery table. When the deployment process completes, click close. If you stopped any replication task earlier to deploy the configuration changes, start the task again with the updated configuration. With this, we come to an end of this video. And we would love to hear back from you. Please write it to on us at support videos at the rate informatica.com or https slash slash twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.